But today really just puts a marker on the date that people will recognize that we're now officially in the UK. It's how um, real race cars should be. First time I've been here, so it's nice to, to finally see it. Uh, it's straight on the entry as you walk in, you see the road and sign, which is uh, is pretty cool. To have it at a place like this as well, um, obviously Donington's a, a pretty iconic circuit, so it's uh, pretty cool to, to have it here. I don't know if you're aware, but New Zealand is quite far away, so we uh, we wanted to have somewhere a bit more central that our customers we get we get inquiries from Sweden, from Russia, from South Africa and it's just an easier place to get to here than it is in New Zealand. So the road in FZ, yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's one of those cars that, as a team, you kind of, you look at it and you're not sure what to think when you first see it. I've never driven around here in real life. I've done a lot of sim racing here. Uh, I do like the track a lot. Uh, I think we get to do the full circuit as well today, so it'd be finally nice to drive such an iconic circuit. to get three or four laps properly pushing as well. Uh, obviously, I've only driven the car in the, and ran David's track at home, um, which is a, a seriously epic track with the elevation he has, and, uh, but it's obviously not as open as, as a place like this, so some really high-speed corners here that I got to push a lot. Um, and it was really, really good. I, I actually really enjoyed it. I wanted to keep going. We only had a couple of laps we were allowed to do, so uh, I was gonna ignore it and keep going, but I don't wanna get in trouble car sounds amazing. I mean, I'm standing around talking to everybody and everybody has to mention that it's nice to hear a real engine on track, to hear it like in the, in the background as it goes down the straight and everything. So, so from that point of view, it's amazing. And it's just nice that we're based at Donington and we finally just get to run the car out there on the track. So we're really happy about it. It was just good to get it out there on the track and the high tech guys did a great job of running the car, which is also good. It all really went pretty well. So I was really happy with it. It's one of those odd things that obviously the car's been shipped from New Zealand. We sort of, you know, did our checks this morning, put it on track, and it is great to see it go round. And also, you know, the smile on Liam's face sort of says it all, really. And I think, you know, everyone knows when you watch F1, everyone's complaining about the sound of engines and things like that. But it's great hearing a real car again with a real engine in the back. You know, Liam is a really, he's obviously a young guy. He's got an awful lot of experience in cars for his age, but he's hes a really nice guy. I mean, he, he comes across very approachable to everybody today. He's walking around chatting with everybody and we're really happy to kind of have Liam on our side because he I think he represents our brand very well. And uh, yeah, we just, we, we wish him the best of luck going forward. We obviously want to see him go as far as he can go. Um, and it's just nice that we can call on him to kind of come over and run the car for us as if it's a thing of nothing, but it, like, you know, it's a pretty big deal. Yeah.